Good morning, Deify here, and welcome back to The Sims 4, our legacy with the Creech family. Cheyenne, go to bed. You really need it. I don't know why. It's 1.04 p.m. Actually, it's closer to 1.04 a.m. <laughs> it's 12.08. Yeah, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I played like two hours of hockey today and my legs are killing me. I have a headache probably from like dehydration or something and I'm just like, ah, <laughs> that's pretty much how I feel. Almost exactly actually. Okay, you're fine to do homework. You're probably fine to do homework. Probably fine to do homework. There you go. Good job everyone, get on that homework train, and then almost once you're done we can send you into space to keep training up that skill, or maybe we could have you, although I guess if we marry an alien that'll get us a half alien, won't it? May not be what we want. Then again, if it's full alien, does it have any of his DNA? Not actually sure how that works anymore. Okay, you've done your homework, so go use the bathroom, take a shower, uh, play, play black block. There we go. And then Malaysia, you're showering. Or I guess taking a boobla bath. How about you uh, go do, do, do um, serve us dinner, that's what I was saying. Fiona, no, I don't really want to go to Fiona's house, sorry. I know, I'm the worst person, I just never, oh, I mean, but if Fiona wants to come up, she's got to be getting tired of me, like, pff, come on, why don't you ever want to, like, come hang out with me? It's like, well, I mean, that's just, like, a lot of work. You're gonna leave the garden salad up there, aren't you? Okay, what do you want? Who? No, we don't. We're too old to be going to nightclubs. How about you just friendly introduce yourself to Fiona? Oh, you knew Fiona. Okay, let's take this. Go down, down, all the way over and put it there where it belongs. Jeez. You'd think they'd learn. That's not the button I meant to hit. I don't know why I hit that button. Okay, Cheyenne went up in comedy skill, apparently. Okay, you're done playing Blick Block. How about you go grab a serving of this sweet garden salad, huh? Huh? Yeah, then we can throw that in there. And we can probably get one space exploration out before you... Need to go to bed for school, you know, typical teenage things. And if I recall, Cheyenne is at, like, the end of her life, right? She's at the sparkly zone, isn't she? Yep. She's sparkling, all right. Uh, Malaysia... Oh, you're right, you're all the same age. Three days. Three days, I suppose. I guess I can make it that far. Just enter the race. You know that's what you gotta do. Uh, zoom. I don't even know what's going on, but he can install cannon defense systems and build an upgrade faster. I should have hit push it. Whatever. Abigail with Nigel. Um, Kimber Moyer with Justice Dale. Married Caroline Bush and Hugo Villarreal. Married Heidi, uh, the husband man, and Luna Villarreal. And we got ooh, we got a cow plant berry. How exquisite. Okay, you're welcome to go to bed now if you want. I'm, yeah, just gonna just gonna let you make your own decisions. How about you head back to bed just so that you can be like even better awaker? -er? Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Better -er awaker. -er. <laughs> awesome. We also need to get almost almost. We actually need to give him like a good fighting chance in the science. Um, career, hopefully. I would assume the problem with the culinary career for Celia was just, I can't tell them to like make food for three hours or something. And so it got really annoying whenever it'd come home and it'd be like, oh well I don't need her to serve four meals. 
Uh, go finish red shoe, blue shoe, something shoe, eight shoe, shoe fly, something like that. Um, go talk about cooking. Oh wait, we need her to get off the computer. Um, go give her, oh she's going, she's going, she's going, she's going. Oh gosh, no, she's taking over the computer. Go, okay. Emmeline, you can't do it. You can't break the computer, just so you know. It's indestructible. This computer's not going anywhere. Mm -mm. But Emmeline's happily making herself some booze right now. Well, I guess she's not making the booze. She's making the mixed drink with the... It, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Why is everyone getting on my case? <laughs> okay. You're gonna go take a shower. You are going to wake up and go angry poop. I guess you're gonna go grab a serving of that sweet garden salad. Yeah, there we go. Emelyn! <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of there. That is not what sinks are for. She's like, look at me! I'm clean! Are you like actually stuck forever? Because it's kind of hilarious and also really annoying. Emelyn, please disappear. We don't we don't need this right now. Cheyenne, what's your excuse? Why'd you stop? I did not hear uh, that. I guess I did not see the words of you finishing your novel. So please do that. Also, Amos, please go to school, okay? Why are you tense? The criminal mastermind is here? Ooh. Who? Is it her? Is it, are you Luna Villarreal? Or you, Athena Daigle? It's probably Daigle. That's a criminal mastermind name if I've ever heard one. You don't trust people with the last name of Daigle, and if you have the last name of Daigle, I apologize because I'm sure you're just as trustworthy as the next person, maybe. Whew, oh no, only 6,000? Uh, confront them, see if we care. Yeah, performance gain. Go sell it to publisher. We're losing money though, she only made 6,000 as opposed to like 6,600. Oh no. Now uh, the teachers run out, uh, do some homework, just, just do that. Yeah, there you go. You just do your reading at home later, that's all that really matters. I think that's gonna be, actually no. We are going to have you write one epic book to say goodbye. Ah. There we go. Uh, fashion victim? Supermodel. Wait, no. This is an auto bio. I forgot that not all biographies are autobiographies. This is an autobiography. Okay. Uh, let's see. My last... Farewell. It's been a blast. Actually, that oh, that would have been the name of Amos's because he's a rocket. I couldn't think of any puns for writing children's books though, and that's just what popped into my head. Eh, it'll still be pretty good. We just gotta hope that she can publish it before, uh, <laughs> you know, bad times. McKenna Munch delivered it. Bad times, no. Cheyenne? Yeah, why'd you do this, Cheyenne? Oh no. Okay, we're gonna watch this. You were one of my favorite non-family sims, that's definitely for sure. You certainly beat Travis. You easily beat Cannon. Cliff was never really a part of the family. I mean, Yuki, Yuki's pretty awesome, but I didn't get to know her a lot. Jade's pretty awesome, and I got to know her a lot more. But Cheyenne, I knew you and Amelia would end up together through Amelia's dating of ten other sims to your flirting at the wedding of all places. Are you for real? Jeez. Get that. Oof. That camera angle though. No, let's get rid of that. Okay, what you uh, what you working on there? Just like yeah. No one's even here to say goodbye. Oh, I'm gonna 
get a quick picture of you, Grim Reaper, if you don't mind. Because your design's really cool in this game. I'll still never get over The Sims 2 Grim Reaper music. It was really good. Uh, I believe I still have that soundtrack. Because, you know, everyone needs The Sims 2 soundtrack in their, in their music library. Way too good. Do you mind not leaving black sludge everywhere? You leave black sludge everywhere? Okay. Well, now we have a house of teenagers. That's cool. Uh, I guess you're not gonna go mop that up. It disappeared on its own, so that's all good. And everyone, just do your homework, okay? Make Cheyenne proud. Do what Cheyenne would have wanted you to do, which is be successful. Except for you, almost. You've kind of got, like, C's still. <laughs> you're a B, and I think it said you're an A. Yeah, so good job, Iris. You always were the smart one, I, th I think. Right? You're the genius. Uh, the perfectionist and quick learner. And then you're the hot-headed, lazy, and gregarious one. And oh, quick learner and gregarious are the perks, but you're the insider and the geek. <sighs> Man, what's a house of teenagers supposed to do? Like, throw a party or something? They can throw a party. It's Friday night. Let's do it. No rules. <laughs> okay, plan a social event. Yeah, let's see what we got. Journey ball delivered a baby. It's gonna be a house party, of course. Uh, give me this. Uh, not for prestige, right? Uh, gold level rewards include a new electronic. Eh, sure, why not? Let's do it. Okay, host. No, it's gonna be Malaysia throwing it. Guests, we gotta invite over all their best friends, so Iris, Amo. Now I need to try and remember who the actual teenagers are. I think Liam, or at least he was, he might not be anymore. Uh, Juliana probably needs to come. We're not gonna invite Morgan, that'd be weird. Um, Tim, Wendell, yes. Uh, okay, you know what? We'll even invite, oh, Justice is old now? We can't invite Justice. We can invite Brennan. We'll get Finley over here. Sure, why not? Entertainer, we'll hire one. It'll be great. It'll be great. Mixologist, ooh, you know we gotta have one. Actually, you know we're gonna get Shoban. And Caterer. We'll get Hugo Villarreal. He was apparently our... Oh no. Okay, it's the hired. Okay. We're good. And then of course, it's a house party. It's gotta be at our house. Entertainers need a piano. Of course they do. Of course they do. I should have known that. That's the only way that entertainers can entertain, right? Okay, so let's get like the brown. The brown's real good. We'll just throw that like in the. You no, know, we can't throw it in the corner. Yeah, oh, wait, I saw a spot. Come on. Oh, I saw you in there. There we go. Like right in front of the door. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Let's get this house party started. Woo! I hope people show up. It doesn't look like people are showing up. Oh, we get- we're, oh, wait, they're here. They're so here. That's our entertainment. Where are you going? Lauren Queeros? That sounds like an insult. Lauren, the piano's down here. No, don't entertain with that. It said you needed a piano to entertain. Okay, host socialize with guests. Uh, so how about you stop taking a shower, okay? Uh, play musical instruments for one hour. Okay, go enthuse about a new show with him. And then Wendell, we're gonna tell a joke about Sunset Valley. Then you're gonna go practice the piano. Cause we gotta get that. Okay, flirting. Uh, Malaysia, you can get your flirt on, I suppose, with Finley. <laughs> I'm sure- oh no, he's an adult. Okay, is there anyone here who's still- 
<laughs> Is there anyone who's still in high school? Hello, we can't flirt. I don't think Juliana is, no. Hey, hey, let go, let go. What about you? No. Where'd all our friends go? Oh, um, no. We're not gonna be able to win. What if we can't win? Friendly introduction, come on. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Ask if single. There we go. I don't know who this is. But we're flirting with him. There's, we already apparently got one flirt. So just, just keep it up. Keep flirting. Oh no 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 no! I remember reveal crush is bad. Reveal crush is like putting everything on the line, and they don't. Yeah. Oh shit! They don't like that. Okay. Whatever. Have Sims playing games at the sim same time. Uh, I guess we can do that. Let's play with. Uh, Mr. Hatman, Tim Rosa. Oh no, wrong Mr. Hatman. Oh well. Okay, so that was Wendell. Wait. Tim is also. Okay, almost we need a cake. Oh, it's almost all it's almost their birthdays too? Okay, well whatever, go make a cake. It's a piece of cake to bake pretty cake. Um, oh, we need, we need more games. Are you for real? Wait, okay, Iris. Go, go play Blick Block. This is what we need. Wait, he's playing, he's playing. Okay, now play with Tim. Okay, play, play with Tim. Tim, sit down. Yes, okay, we got it. Why can't we flirt with him? I don't understand. Whatever. You're still embarrassed. Oh my gosh, this is awful. Have Sims become happy at the same time? I don't know how to- we're gonna fail. Amos, where are you? Why- get, go socialize real quick before it ends. That's all that's really necessary, and then go. And then go, go, go before you explode, go to the bathroom. House party unsuccessful. Man, that's like really hard. I don't know. There was only so much I could do. Okay, so I don't know where all the cake went, or is it just that one slice that's taken? Whatever, we still threw, we still threw a rager, so it's, it's pretty great. <laughs> Friday night, having a great party. Uh, Malaysia's like done. Okay, you can like stop now. You you do realize that I'm not super concerned with you playing games. I would rather you not explode all over the floor because that's messy to clean up. And we don't need that. So if you would just go to bed, that'd be swell. You know, just get everyone in there. Why is Travis our resident painter? Like, where's Emmeline when I need her? That's just not even fair. Why are you napping, you two? Just go to bed. It's so much easier that way. Oh my good golly gosh. Actually, almost you're gonna go claim that bed, okay? Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay. I wish the super speed was faster. Sims 3 was like really slow, but Sims 4 still feels like it has its slow points. Like quite often. <laughs> Cause this is ridiculous. Come on, we're on speed. Oh wait, this is just one of those where it just skipped ahead an hour, I'm pretty sure. So that's, that's weird. I'm pretty sure it said we were at 540. Okay, now we got something. Okay, Malaysia. Why don't you go repair this real quick? Because I would rather you take a shower. Okay, come on, any day now. Any day now. Thank you. No, go, no, go take a shower. Then you can have the wrong. Oh, then you can have cake. Okay, so go take a piece. You're already eating cake, so you're good. 
And then, uh, Iris, why don't you wake up also? And Amos, I want you to cook us another cake. Because I'm just gonna grow everyone up today. It'll be better to have three young adults who can actually start, like, providing for this family as opposed to three teenagers who, you know, just threw a party. We, we need actual responsible people in here. So, well, we're gonna go oldest first, so Iris, why don't you go taste the frost thing? There you go. Um, are you gonna grow up? I guess not. Who's calling? Is it Fiona? Uh, I don't really want to join Party House just because we threw a party doesn't necessarily mean that. Okay, you got this. There you go, you look exactly the same as before. But now we get to use my wonderful program. You're a... Wow, an insider perfectionist bookworm. Doesn't get more stereotypical than that. Okay, up uh, Malaysia. You're up next. Why don't you go add candles onto that bad boy? Taste the frosting. Okay, yeah. Oh, that Vuvuzela sound, though. You're really bad at it, Almost. Try harder. And of course, you two look exactly the same, so let's see what we got. Romantic? Oh, that's gonna be fun. A lazy, hot-headed romantic. Perfect. Perfect. And Amos. Add birthday candles. You as well. Taste that frost thing. Oh my gosh! Did you need to launch those fireworks literally into his body? That seemed painful. Oh, that <laughs> double fist pump, though, synchronized real good. And now, what do you get? Let's see, I called Geek. What am I gonna call right now? I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna call Kleptomaniac. Nope, Perfectionist. Uh, we have two insider perfectionists. Mmm, okay, well, that kind of... So, almost an Iris should get along, like, really well, because... They have, like, the same personalities. <laughs> Except Iris is uh, a bookworm instead of a geek. But what's the difference? Iris, you can grab some of that cake too, you know. Okay, so what do you want to do? You want to read three books and achieve level three logic. So I'm going to actually start doing that so you can go play chess. Um, whoops. Instead of observing the sky, however, who's this? Who's here? Rashawn? I don't know who you are. Do you know who he is? No. Do you know who he is? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> We're gonna find you a job, and by find you a job, I mean just get you a job, because there is no find in The Sims 4. Everything's just always hiring, which is pretty sweet, if only that was true for the real world, and you're of course going to be a scientist. Ooh, this is one of the ones that you can work with. Okay, starts Monday. Have two breakthroughs. Um, gardening, reading, or performing experiments. Can you go use the kitty one? No. Gardening, reading. Okay, so you need to have two breakthroughs. So let's just go have you read Orbital Pudding. That's a good book right there. That's one of my favorites. And what do you want to do? You want to have three friends and introduce yourself. Eh, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> that one's probably not going to happen. You got your logic level three, though. So why don't you go read the Gluttenspiel? That's uh, not a very good musical instrument. Nothing like the Glockenspiel. Um, Eureka almost has had his first breakthrough and wrote down an idea for a momentum conserver. Click on the notebook button at the top. Oh, that's what that's for. I was wondering. No ingredients required. Well, then make it, I guess. No? No. You're not going to, I guess. But hey, awesome. Uh, go use the restroom. And actually, I suppose this would be a great time to 
start a gathering. Uh, uh, you know what? We'll go to the library. We'll do it at the library. You know, we'll we'll have a normal club gathering where everyone just gets together at the library and talks loudly amongst each other while they pretend to read books. Because reading and talking is, like, very difficult. I don't know if you realize that. It's just like... I, I mean, maybe I'm just bad at it, but I can't read and talk at the same time. I also can't form cohesive sentences that aren't out in the middle of Nowheresville. <laughs> oh, it's, it was a rough night. It was a rough night. I did not sleep well, and I think it's showing by the fact that I'm exhausted at 12.30. Okay. Let's go read, um... Handiness 1, Try Not to Die. No, that's a stupid book. Reel her in. You gotta... You gotta learn how to... How to do it, you know what I'm saying, Amos? This will teach you... Okay, let's get the sweet club points for, I think, the first time since he actually joined the club. Let's see, who's that? Celia Isaacs. She's kinda cute. You know, we didn't actually go out with a librarian last time. We just, uh... Congrats on landing that sweet job. Yeah, it better be. Yeah, we didn't go after the librarian. Hey, Fiona! Wolfgang. Kimberly, I don't know who that is. Who's this? Hi oh, that's Heidi. You should introduce yourself to Celia. Oh, do we really need another Celia in our life? I'd say the answer is yes. Okay, how many books have you read? Why don't you, like, finish reading any of these books? Also, why are you just standing there? I don't think librarians are just supposed to be chilling on the computer. But what would I know? I'm not a librarian. I should ask my aunt. She's a librarian. She can tell me this stuff. Read. So can you, like, finish reading Reel Her In, please? So that would be real swell, because then you can actually gain, uh, you know... What do you call this? Your aspiration that you kind of really want to do, believe it or not. Oh, there's like a breakthrough meter, too. Didn't even realize that. I guess you need to... Um... What are you doing? No, don't put it away. Um, well, you had a second breakthrough. Synthetic food serum. Okay, we did that. Can you please finish reading a book? Or does this just not work? No, because you're only halfway through. I saw that quickly climb up. Do not put it away! You stupid- Ugh, I hate this. You know what, whatever. Just end the gathering and go home. You're obviously not actual bookworm material. Not like your sister, who's really good at it. <sighs> I'm, I'm so bad at this game. I can't even get them to finish reading books. But it's because they stop reading when they hit maximum fun, I think. It's like, that's not very good. I want you to keep going. You know, some people don't just read to gain fun. They also read to, you know, finish the story? <sighs> um, Try pairing up sims you think are a good match, like hook up under other sims? I don't know what that's saying. Oh well. I don't understand a lot of what this game's saying. Ah, <sighs> but good times. Good times. Well, we're gonna have his first day of scientisting in the next episode. Because right now I think I'm gonna call it. I should probably record a second episode because I skipped a day, but tonight's not the night to do that. I can just tell. <laughs> So, I'm just gonna leave it here and on a failed house party and whatnot. All that great stuff. I'm supposed to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, on The Sims 4, our legacy with the Creech family. Goodbye.